Hello, I'm Dr. Rostetter from Pets and Stitches. This video will review general post-operative guidelines for a female dog spayed at Pets and Stitches. If your dog was spayed elsewhere, please refer to that facility's post-operative instructions, which may be different than ours. When you get your little girl home, please get a good look at her surgical site. Today is normal. A little bit of redness and swelling will set in, and that's fine, but if it changes dramatically in any way, please let us know. She should not have any drainage from the surgical site, and her sutures are dissolvable, so they do not need to be removed. Please do not let her chew or lick at the surgical site. Hopefully you purchase one of our post-operative collars to help prevent that from happening. Sometimes also for the little dogs, you can put them in a onesie. That can help uh, decrease the risk also. I do strongly recommend that you put some ice in a hand towel like you would for yourself and hold it on her surgical site for about 10 minutes out of every hour the rest of today. That'll help with pain and swelling just like it does with us. We do have pictures on our website of normal and abnormal healing incisions. If you have concerns about how your, her surgical site is looking, that may be a place to start on judging whether or not you need to seek additional help. One of the most, One of the most important things for her after surgery is limiting her activity for seven days. She needs to be kept crated or in a small room like a bathroom, go out on a leash, a short leash to do her business, come right back in. We're trying to minimize her running, her jumping, her playing. Hopefully her surgery goes really well and she's feeling back to normal the next day. So you do need to help restrict her activity so she doesn't think she can do all the things that she normally does. If you are having problems keeping her quiet, um, you can contact us about go home sedation if you didn't already purchase that. The sedation does not take the place of the crating or the confinement, but it can help take the edge off of um, the anxiety of being confined. It does not take the place of the confinement. Feed your little girl like normal tonight. She may or may not eat, but she should be eating by tomorrow. Do keep her inside primarily to keep her in a clean, dry, temperature controlled environment. When you get her home, she may be a little tired from the effects of the anesthesia. She may overreact to normal sounds and lights. Um, that's normal. I do recommend keeping children or other pets away, which if she's crated or confined, that shouldn't be an issue because they can be a little unpredictable while they're eliminating the effects of the anesthesia over the next 24 hours. She does have a little tattoo on her abdomen next to the incision. This identifies her as spade. It's smeared, it's messy right now, but when it heals in a few weeks, it'll be a small green line. Please do not give your female dog any over-the-counter pain medications. Hopefully you purchase pain medication from us. If you feel that her pain is not controlled, contact us. We do have um, additional options. The over-the-counter medications can be toxic to dogs or cause other problems. And most every time, spaying and neutering go well. Um, there is a small risk of complications though, and if any of the following occur, please contact us immediately. Pale gums, depression, vomiting, diarrhea, discharge or bleeding from the incision, difficulty urinating if she's having trouble breathing, or if she's lethargic for more than 24 hours. We will reach her car at no charge, um, for any complications resulting directly from surgery. There may be an additional charge if additional medications are needed or other supplies. You can contact us during office hours 937-630-3320 or you can also email us at contact at petsinstitches.com. This is especially good if you're worried about how her surgical site is looking you can send a picture in and please refer to your post-operative papers as to what information to include. Legally, we can only provide post-operative support for our own patients. If uh, your dog is having problems of an urgent nature and you don't think you can wait till our office hours, our staff does carry an on-call cell phone and that cell phone is also on the back of your post-operative paperwork. The phone is answered till 10 p.m. Monday through Saturday. If you cannot reach us or you think your, situ your pet situation can't wait, please contact the two, one of the two local emergency clinics. One of them is Dayton Care Center, which is 
937-293-0911. The other one is MedVet, which is 937-293-2714. Thank you.